Last night, the Golden Globes took over Hollywood, and we were there with all the stars just seconds after they walked off stage during our live Golden Globes after show. Oh, it was so much fun, and there was so much that happened during our after show and after our after show that we just wanted to sit down after our after show to bring you the amazing moments from our after show and after our after show. Wow, wait. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right, to me, one of the biggest moments was Laura Dern telling us that she would be devastated to not do Big Little Lies season three. We were trying to get her to break some news for us, but what she said is, It would devastate me to not get to ever play Renata again. I will not not be rich, and she will not not be Renata. <laughs> Got that? Well, HBO. I will not not be rich. Let's talk about some other news that, that happened last night, too. Yes. Cousin Greg came into our lovely space. Oh my I'm wow. overly excited that you're here. And it turns out that Leo's a big fan, or LDC as we now know him. LDC. LDC is a big fan of Succession. Leonardo DiCaprio watches the show. Wow. He whispered some stuff in my ear that I can't tell you guys, but it was really intimate, and, um, and now we're, we're best friends. It was like a... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Also, we went to the NBC party where we saw Rita Wilson. And you guys, mm -hmm. it was a huge night for Tom Hanks with the Cecil B. DeMille Award. And to not have your makeup artist show up the night that you know you're going to be on camera front and center in the middle of the ballroom, right. I mean, it's anxiety inducing. And by the way, I'm just now putting two and two together. That's why he said, be on time. Showing up on time is one of the greatest liberating acts you can give yourself be on time for my wife when she's sitting front and center. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else is very punctual and is always on time? Is that Martha Stewart? Yeah. She was telling me, though, about hanging out with Snoop Dogg all day, somebody okay. who's not known for punctuality. I don't know how that relationship continues <laughs> in that way. She, she told me, she said, you have to watch this video that we just shot at the Warner Brothers install party. Mm -hmm. And my god, it was cinematic. <laughs> that is amazing. Golden Globe 2021. Can I tell you what I really want to get down to the bottom of is a Joey King posting that uh, Patricia Arquette, who of course played her on screen the mother in the act and won last night, bonked her on the head with the Golden Globe statue, which by the way is extremely heavy. I don't know how you can use this much force to make this happen, but she has a knot on her forehead. All I know is that we did see Patricia Arquette later on in the night wearing yeah. a Viking uh, helmet. <laughs> So clearly, she was ready for battle, and I don't know if that's the I reason. I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't know if that's the reason <laughs> what happened, but. It was the most bizarre sight, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about another big moment from mm. last night, especially on social media. The, the moment when Joaquin Phoenix won for Best Actor in a Drama for Joker. Joaquin Phoenix. And everybody in the room stood up. It was a standing ovation until you get to Beyonce. So Beyonce was still seated. Now, to her credit, she didn't win for best song, but she still stuck around for, I believe, the rest of the show. I'm okay with it. Are you okay with it? I'm okay with it. You know, I'm just okay anytime Beyonce shows up to anything. And I just feel like we're blessed. Yeah. With her. It's just, she was there, guys. Um, let's very quickly talk about the things that we learned about ourselves um, in the one-on-one -on -one space last night, which is I realized that I do this deep squat while interviewing people. <laughs> Look who we have! Hi! Hi. Oh, Congratulations! Hi. Super weird. I didn't see it until people were sending me photos, but it's a thing. We have Laura Dern. Um, also, I asked Taron Egerton if he was with his children, who were his sisters. Are these your daughters? These are my little sisters. And of course I knew that he doesn't have kids, but in the moment he's holding a five-year-old. I assume he must be related somehow, but it was actually really sweet that he came with his sisters. His sisters, yes. They wouldn't give me the time of day with an answer. They couldn't be bothered, but they were very sweet. And the last thing I was reliving this morning was trying to get Ellen to dance with us. Can we get a little just Golden Globe winner dance? A dance off? Which didn't really happen, but I danced for Ellen. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's good. It was the most awkward shoulder shimmy thing you've ever seen. So, feeling really good about that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was good. It was a fun moment. Yes. Well, I had a blast with you. It was so much fun. I hope we can do it again next year. I hope right? so too. Yeah. We'll yeah. get some sleep and we'll. We'll get back out there. And I feel like next time when we see Patricia Arquette, I'll be in like full body armor, like <laughs> just protective gear, just in case. Just Cause she, who in knew case. she'd be the most wild one of the night. Wild one of the night. <laughs> yeah. Love you, babe. Mm -hmm.